especially on a Monday food. What's going on in the kitchen over there? Studio 10 kitchen. What do we have? Today? So first we have two quick <laughs> movie reviews. Ben saw Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Loved it. Great I saw Wreck and Ralph Thumbs 2 <laughs> over the weekend with my kids. Of course. So creative and well done. Go check mm -hmm. it out. So we got one in five coverage. You can go. <laughs> okay. There I is know you want to see Michael B. Jordan. Yes. As well. Too hot, too hot to handle. All right, we are back in the kitchen with 1031 Meals. Ben is joining us again. Great to see you as always, Hi, good ben. to see you, Joe. So a lot of different things going on mm -hmm. with 1031 Meals and also a great dish you're making today. Let's start with that. Tell the folks what we're going to work on later in the show. We are going to make a low-carb enchilada, but we're going to do something that everybody needs at this time, something quick and something easy, yes. but also something that will feed your entire family, but be remotely healthy. And this is going to be a wonderful, healthy uh, meal you can prepare. It's going to be quick, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be easy. So let's talk about some of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. What okay. makes these enchiladas healthy? Okay, what's going to help these enchiladas out is, is we're using a pre-cooked, um, rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. So it's going to, we debone the chicken so that's good, healthy, you know, uh, rotisserie chicken. And we, quick on that end. And yep. quick, yeah, so something quick, uh, whole cheeses that we're going to be using. We're using a low carb um, tortilla, a carb balance uh, mm -hmm. whole wheat to tortilla. It's low in carbs. And we're using a low carb enchilada sauce, only four grams of carbs for the sauce. Still going to be packed with flavor though. But you're going to love it. So your wife was telling me earlier we mm -hmm. took a grocery store trip okay. with her. If you haven't seen that, check it out online. What is the significance of using whole cheeses? Why do folks need to look for that? Well, you, you need good fats in your life. You mm -hmm. need good things in your life. And uh, the low fat craze has come along in the, uh, for so many years and it takes all the goodness out of most of the food. So when you see something that says low fat and I should take that, uh, that's something to actually avoid. You really actually want good solid whole cheeses, not low fat cheeses. These are regular cheese. And you can tell if you look at the mm -hmm. ingredients on the back of the cheese, if it's only right. just a few ingredients, then it's good. If it's one right. of those things where there's 30 ingredients listed, it's probably not real cheese. And it's highly processed. Right. And we're looking for things that have has the least amount of processing in them. And this is uh, beautiful cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese, and that's all it is. Man, this is going to be so good, y'all. Now, we want to talk about a couple of things you have going on. Right. Let's start with quick catering. What's that all okay. about? Quick catering is something we're all offering right now for the holidays. Uh, we only need 36 to 48 hours notice. We can turn around. Uh, you can get party trays and heavy hors d'oeuvres from us and we can have them delivered to your home or you can come by our, our kitchen and pick them up. But uh, you don't need weeks notice. If you've just decided you're going to throw together a party for you and your friends, call us 36 hours, 48 hours. We can turn around and get you your party trays and your hors d'oeuvres. Which is great again for yeah. the holiday season. Of course, exactly. so many people having those get togethers. Mm -hmm. um, and then the custom catering kind of goes along yeah. with all that. Right, right. In custom catering, we can do any party or any event you want us to do. Mm -hmm. We have catered parties for as few as 15 people. This past summer, we catered a party for 600 people. Wow. So we can party, uh, cater any size of, uh, event that you want. We can offer private chef services. So uh, my wife and I are available if you want us to come and do a private party for you. We can do that. Uh, full service for all the events. You can check it out at 1031meals.com. Get the information and uh, book your event. Call us on the phone. We'll be happy to talk with you and we can even do custom menus for you. All right, and for the folks who are watching today, there's something else you wanted to let them know about. We're doing a giveaway for the show today. So uh, we're going to be giving away a free party tray, ah. uh, a, a hummus charcuterie tray, a veggie tray, or a fruit tray. That'll be the tray of your choice. Uh, just go to Facebook, like our page, go to Instagram at 1031 Meals, and uh, like our events and share them on your Facebook page and Instagram, and uh, you'll be entered to win a, a tray. All right, sounds good. Awesome. When we come back, we're going to start putting these chicken enchiladas together. I'm excited, Kendra. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so this is, <laughs> this, this is good for me. You sound Welcome back to Studio 10. We are in my favorite place, the Studio 10 kitchen, <laughs> with my new favorite person, Chef Ben, even though his wife did go to Alabama. We're not going to beef about that. We're just going to talk about <laughs> chicken and cheese and low carbs and how to stay fine during the holidays. There you and go. All exactly. That good stuff. So let's pick up where you left okay. off with Joe. What are we about to do next? With all these? Right. We're Give actually going to start putting the recipe together. As we said, we have a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken. Yum. We have cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, low carb tortillas, and we have a low carb enchilada sauce. This is something quick and easy, so I guess we should just go ahead and start putting a couple of these together. Mm -hmm. And we begin simply by taking some of the rotisserie chicken and some cheddar 
This is a very simple meal. So the, I feel like definitely guys, the whole family prep can do on this it is going to be easy. A little bit of salt. A little bit, literally. A little bit of pepper. A little bit. And some granulated garlic. Okay. You take each enchilada and you roll it up. This is how you put together something for your family. Very simple. It looks like you spent a lot of time on it because it has the awesome chicken. So what is our oven preheated to? We are preheated to 350 okay, degrees. Okay, so that's We're easy We're going to make well. eight of these. Got it. Once we finish the eighth one, we will uh, put the enchilada sauce over the top. Mm -hmm. We will sprinkle it with more cheddar and then add mozzarella mixed Yum. in with it. You can never have too much cheese. No, ever, cheese ever, is ever. awesome. And uh, it's going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. The last couple of minutes, I'm going to turn the broiler on, mm -hmm. brown that cheese really good so that when it comes out, it's all melted and gooey Yummy. and good and tasty. But what's amazing about this recipe mm -hmm. is it is not pro highly processed. It is something that you can do quick and easy. It's low carb right. and you can serve this to your family and they will think you spent hours putting it together. And a lot of people are hopping on that trend, the low carb, right. everything. You know, you see all the little tasty um, kind of uh, recipes on Facebook as you're scrolling and stuff like that. And so this one definitely more, more of um, one of the simpler ones that you can make when you're in a hurry. And people have these type of ingredients usually all the time. Mom, you can put this right. together in 15 minutes at your house. Uh, you come in from work, the kids are running crazy in the house, mm -hmm. you've been working all day. Uh, dad can do this yes. even. A man can even put this together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> uh, you can put this together and put this in the oven in 15 minutes and be sitting down to dinner in 30 minutes. Now, are you the type that you have to pair your enchiladas with anything? Like, I have to have chips and salsa whenever I'm eating enchiladas. But, I mean, I guess that takes away from all the local. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, yeah, sort of. But, um, you know, you've got the other Be honest with me. I'm yeah. trying to be healthy. Oh, okay. No, you shouldn't be doing okay, the so chips and salsa. Okay, so put the chips and salsa away. <laughs> If you're like me, put it down and just stick to what we're now, making right now. Now, these low-carb tortillas, now, I've done this before. This is a very low-carb tortilla. If you'll okay. take this and put it on a pan in the oven uh -huh. uh, for just a few minutes at 350 degrees, it turns into a chip. I'm trying it today. I and you can do And this is low-carb, and you could have your shit. Salsa's okay. Yay. It's the chips that steer you wrong. Well, look, we are committed to your health and your happiness, so we just taught you how to make a low-carb chip as well. That's right. That's right. Yay. Okay, so let's go back to this... Um, giveaway that we were talking okay. about earlier. Right. Tell us a little bit more about that. All right, we're going to be giving away uh, from the show today. Mm -hmm. uh, people that tune in and go to the, our website, our, our Facebook page mm -hmm. and our Instagram, we're going to be giving away a party tray, um, a hummus charcuterie tray, okay. a veggie tray or a fruit tray. They can choose. The winner will get to choose. But not uh, all of them. You but not more. just one. Keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> but go to Facebook page and like our page, share our page, mm -hmm. go to our Instagram at 1031 meals, uh, like uh, our Instagram and also share that and our events coming up and uh, you'll be put in the running to win the tray. Nice. Nice. Yes. So we'll check and see. Can we check and see how many people have done that so far? Maybe in the commercial break? Yes. Uh, we'll my my daughter Amanda is here and she does all of our social media and things Got and it. she can usually give me an update she's about what her fingers she's are over going there right so now. Fast. She's checking so we can get an update of how many people have taken a look yeah, at it already. Who doesn't want free food? Absolutely. Free and food? for the holidays you can choose this tray for the holidays so you can you don't have to get it next week if you win the tray you can say I'd like right. to get a Christmas tray or something for my family gathering or something for a party and you know what I've noticed whenever you have or whenever you're hosting Thanksgiving or Christmas mm -hmm. or just any holiday you're already making a huge meal for whatever that specific holiday is right. so you need meals like this in the meantime in between time that you exactly. can just kind of whip up and still feed a lot of people right and not stress yourself out about and, it. And it's not overly expensive. It's right. one rotisserie chicken deboned. That's, That's all we did. And some cheese. Yeah. I like it. I awesome. like it so much. Okay, so we're going to continue making yes. these, pop them in the oven, and then we'll check back in with you in just a few minutes. But for now, were you cold this morning when you stepped out? I was absolutely freezing. I am a cold <laughs> natured person, <laughs> I was and I not. was freezing. So let's see how long that weather is here to stay. Let's check in with Matt and Joe. Matt, how long is it here to stay? Back in the kitchen with Ben A. Key from 1031 Meals. Ben, great to see you as always. Great to be here. So we've been talking about uh, a giveaway y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. Tell right. folks a little bit about that. Okay, again, we're doing a giveaway for the holidays. Also, uh, for being on the show today, uh, if you will go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, which is 1031 Meals, or our Instagram at 1031 Meals, uh, like both of those and uh, share them, you'll be put in the running for a party tray. Um, you can have a hummus 
hummus and charcuterie tray, a veggie tray, or a fruit tray. Great ideas One there. One of those. All, all healthy goodness as well. <laughs> That's and right. You guys have been monitoring that. A lot yeah. of people have been taking part of that, and you wanted to mention some names as yeah, well. Yeah, um, we have a brand new follower who's watching the show and started with us, Des Sheffield. Hello, What's how up, are you? Des? And uh, Mindy Fortner on Instagram. Thank you for Hello, liking Mindy. us and getting involved. So just a few of the people yes. who have logged on during this time to learn all the 1031 Meals has to offer. One of the key elements of 1031 Meals is the meal. So let's right. get to that. Let's show the folks what you've been <laughs> working right, on here this morning. Here. All so right. tell them what you've been preparing. Okay, we've been preparing a low-carb chicken enchilada. Okay. Quick, fast, easy, healthy, and good. There it is. Look at that. That looks so that look? good. Now tell the folks again what makes these healthy. Okay, first of all, low-carb uh, mm -hmm. tortillas. Okay. Uh, we have a low-carb enchilada sauce, uh, good, healthy, solid whole cheeses, uh, cheddar mm -hmm. and mozzarella, uh, the rotisserie chicken, pre-cooked and uh, deboned. Uh, good chicken, it's not fried, uh, it's good stuff. Now, let's go to the core of what 1031 okay. Meals right. does while we okay. talk about this. Right. You guys prepare meals for people, healthy meals right. that they can eat at their convenience. Talk a little we bit have about a meal that. prep service, you go to our website, we have all different kinds of plans you can choose from, a low carb plan, a clean eating plan, uh, a keto plan. We prepare the meals for you each and every week. You go online, you order, um, you place the order, you come uh, by and pick uh, the food up. It's in a nice little bag. All Each meal is individually packed. It's pre-cooked and it's refrigerated. You go home, you put it in your fridge there. When you decide what you want for dinner or you want for breakfast, you pull what, your choice out, put it in the microwave, you heat it up, and you're ready to go. Quick reheat and yes. you are ready to go with some healthy home-cooked meals. This looks absolutely fantastic. When this cools down, definitely going to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, log on to 1031 Meals. Check it out. Like we said, like their Facebook page, their Instagram, all that sort of stuff. So you can follow and learn more about what they are all doing. Ben, thank you so much. Right. Thank you, Joe. Looks Enjoyed so it. good. Can't wait to try it out. We'll be back with more Studio 10 in just a bit.